Hi everyone, I'm CJ aka Adventure Shock 24 and welcome back to Pokemon Legends Arceus. My whole party has leveled up a bunch. Well, I think mainly Pichu has leveled up to catch up with the rest of the party, and so has Eevee. And I've been collecting loads and loads of resources and items, like I got a Firestone, I got a King's Leaf. Which, I'm not really sure where, what this item is used for. Gonna put it away for now. <laughs> Can we talk about yesterday? As of recording this video, the Pokemon di on Direct or Presents just happened or whatever. And they just announced the new games. Like, what the heck? Pokemon just doesn't want to take a break. And considering that I still need to go back and finish Colosseum, and then play Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness, and I also gotta go back and complete res the rest of the post-game in Rescue Team DX. Yeah, I, th I think this is probably gonna end up being like a year of Pokemon content. <laughs> but you know what that means, we just gotta go, go, go. But I also got spoiled on something that's probably gonna happen later in the game. Of some crazy, like, abomination fusion of, like, D like Dialga and Palkia and Arceus. It's like Dialgius and Palkius. I don't see a reason not to bring these along for the ride. Ultra Balls. If we uh, look at my Pokedex here, I currently have 99 tasks un completed that I haven't reported yet. I I'm pretty sure I've completed more than 99, but I think it might have maxed out at that. So uh, that's why I stopped. I'm ready. Look at all this. This is all stuff that I caught in between episodes. So many Pokemon. I even I even took some deep dives and parkouring across some rocks rocks in the rivers and caught some magic arms. I got 17,000 Poke for this. I'm rich. And I have so many stardusts to sell too. I'm literally just rich. So now let's see how much I level up. Well, I've got a whole bunch of- I wonder if I'm gonna level up twice at once. I'm not sure. Best report to Captain Saline, eh? Well, we're gonna do that. Turn to the village. No reason to stay here. Also, Pichu and stuff on my party is, like, fully ready to evolve. And so is Eevee. I'm gonna keep it a Pichu a little while longer. Just cause we haven't really got to see it very much in the video. Oh yeah, three stars. But am I gonna make it to four? With this, you have officially attained the rank of third star. You can now use great balls. Great. Oh no, I still gotta get. I gotta do more missions now. What was I supposed to do again for the main story? We gotta deal with Cleavor, right? What do you intend to do about that Cleavor, Commander Kamado? He may be descended from a warrior of Almighty Sinnoh, but look at the mess he's causing. We can't sit back and let him rage on. You do get right to the point, Adamon. Time wasted is lost. Well, tell me, what would you have us do? Cleavor is a precious lord of the Pearl Clan, is he not? That's the point. My clan can't intervene directly where a lord of the Pearl Clan's concerned. If my people were to do something, our two clans might end up back at each other's throats again, just like we used to be. Who then? Would the Diamond Clan have the Pearl Clan bring down one of its own honored nobles? I don't believe I said that. Thought it, maybe. You might as well have said it, you fool. Look, we don't even know what drove Lord Cleavor into such a violent frenzy. I'd like to know that myself. This is a first as far as my clan knows, too. Hmm, I see you've arrived. This is CJ, the newest member of the Survey Corps. Ah, I hear from my, you earned Weird Ear's favor. Good to finally meet you, stranger from the Rift. I am Adaman, leader of the Diamond Clan, if you want to be formal. But that's a mouthful. Mouthful. Just call me Adaman. Yes, send me to study Cleavor before deciding what must be done. This should be fun. I'll get to see how good you galaxy folk really are with all your weird ways, putting Pokemon in those strange balls and what have you. I'd like to be perfectly clear on this point. This mission will put you in extreme danger. Do you believe you can handle it? Of course. 
Very well, then let us go over the particulars. The Diamond and Pearl Glam's revere their nobles because they leave these reasons. They could believe these Pokemon serve listen to that rift in space time that seems like it connects this world to a whole other world. Anyway, I'm sure you're up to the challenge, so we'll be counting on you. Ta-ta! <laughs> See you later! Well, finally, after a decent amount of cutscenes, we can set out. Oh, man. <laughs> Baggin? Who are you? Finding yourself unable to pick up the materials you come across? Satchel always seeming full? Full inventory. Yes, I need upgrades to this. If that sounds like you, it'd be wise to lend me your ear a moment and hear what I have to say. Oh, don't I have to spend money to upgrade my inventory? Well, in that case, I'm rich. I'm doing this right now. You can carry around even more in that satchel of yours if you learn the trick to packing things in. I can teach you if you'd like. What do you say? Teach me. I like your initiative. My teaching fee is a neat 100 poke. I have 27,000. 100 poke is not anything to me. Upgrade my inventory as many times as I possibly can. I can keep one more item in the satchel after that, and it's gonna get more expensive each time. So now it's gonna be 200. Again, super cheap considering I still have 20,000 poke. Let's see how many upgrades I can get. And one more is 5,000? Yeah, you know what? Fine, sure. I think I might stop here though. How expensive is the next one? 6,000? Nah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep what I have now, though. But let's see my inventory now. Look at all these extra slots. I almost have a full extra inventory worth of slots. I'm gonna look for these side quests, though. See what I can do. Craft something using a very special recipe. And what is that? A recipe for Pokeshi dolls. Is this for making it easier to flee from a Pokemon? Because that would be useful in this game. This is the recipe for what I've named Pogeshi Dolls. Special items that we can make in the village. Okay, well, I can make one, probably. Yeah, it's literally just wood. I'm gonna have to get more, but I can make one. Amazing! Just look at how smoothly you've carved these curves. Your attentive carving shows how you put love and care into your handiwork. And these colors, you've definitely given it a vivid look, that's for sure. Yes, these hues must be the very shades of your inner strength and passion. Not to mention, this Pokeshi doll is perfectly balanced. At a glance, you'd think it's sure to fall over, and yet it stubbornly remains upright. Woo! Thank you. We used the same recipe, and yet your Pokeshi doll had a completely different feel than mine. Here, I'll give you one that I made. I took great care in crafting it, so have a look, and see how it differs from the one you made. I'm sure it doesn't actually differ at all in terms of function, but that's my reward, apparently. I just get a second one. We did it, Pichu. We did- we completed another side quest, and you're still asleep. Fair enough. In your clothing shop, a special item has is, is arrived. What's this? Oh, modern items. Shaman items? Ooh. Those could look awesome. I definitely gotta see what the, what the customizing is about right now. There's another item? Pikachu items? Ooh. But what can I buy from this place? This looks like Kirby's hammer ability headband. Actually, no, Kirby's is blue, isn't it? Blue stripes, yeah. Why does this look like a Mystery Dungeon symbol? It looks like the Mystery Dungeon Rescue Team badge. But no, it's Rowlet. It's Rowlet themed, okay. This one looks awesome. Jeez. It is Pikachu themed, but to be honest, I don't know if I like the mask. It's like positioned in a really weird spot. I don't know if I like that. That was kind of ugly. I think I'd prefer the twisted headband, to be honest. That looks pretty cool, though. This makes me look like one of the foretellers from Kingdom Hearts. I look awesome now. Ready for a new episode. Oh, I, I can- I can buy recipes for stuff. Okay. But how do I sell stuff? Oh, Z-O-R. Oh, I could have done this at any of the shops. Okay. Well, that explains that. Time to sell some of this, uh, Stardust. 17 for 17,000? That's how much I started the video with. 
Yeah, that's... Actually, no. I started with 27,000, didn't I? Oh, well. Still a decent amount of money. This is a new side quest, so what do you want? I can't get a good night's sleep like this. Yeah. Don't scare me like that. Something wrong? No, no. Everything's fine. Whatever you need, come back later. What's the matter? Hmm, maybe a Survey Corp type like you could figure out what's causing this. Look, when I'm in my quarters trying to sleep at night, it feels... It feels like I'm not alone in there. Sometimes there's this kind of crackling sound. I've found burnt berries a couple times, and once in a while I hear something clatter. So, Survey Corp kid, go survey my quarters. Figure out what's happening. Strange happenings. Just do it at night, would you? You mean right now? Sure, I can do that. <laughs> I thought this was about to be a first-person game for a moment. It just started me in first-person view. You know what? I will play this in first-person mode. What's going on here? You heard something from beneath the cloth. Draw it back. Is that Pichu? You, you saw sparks fly for a moment. It seems something ran by you. I, I, I recognized that Pokemon cry for a single frame. That's Pichu, isn't it? This isn't a ghost type. This is not a ghost. It's a Pichu. Like my own. And I can't send it out here, unfortunately. There it is. It's a Pichu. Survey Corp Kid, are you alright? I heard the strange noise. Wait a minute, this Pichu. It might be absurd, but I think this might be a Pichu I found injured in the forest a while back. A berry? For me? What, because I fixed you up? It's you. Hmm, so the thing haunting my quarters was just a grateful Pichu. Regardless, I owe you. Have a token of my gratitude. Well, that was easy. Seven Nanab berries. Cool. Well, that's that side quest. I still don't have a big enough weasel. Am I gonna need to find an alpha one? I probably am. Oh yeah, I gotta complete all of these side quests, don't I? Let's do the pickling stone one. Oh, I don't actually have more than one. Okay, well I guess I'll have to catch another one, but I'll give you this one. Give up this Geodude for the side quest. It really does look like a rock. And the Geodude is just here. I wonder if you give up a ch if you gave up a shiny Pokemon for one of these side quests, would it just be a shiny in this in this building from now on that you give that you give to them? That'd be so funny. Here in the village, you can have crops grown for you in exchange for a fee. Uh, apricorn harvest, I guess. Sure. Okay, I gotta finish Cherim's Pokedex entry for this one. I'll do that later. Ah, it's those pesky Bidoof. Oh, it's this side quest. I saw this in the list. I look away for one second and the little scoundrels waltz right into the village. So I gotta catch these Bidoof? Add a Bidoof to your team and go find the bothersome Bidoof troubling the village. So I need a Bidoof on my party. Huh. I mean, I guess I can do that. Oh, there we go. Now I've unlocked the ability to rele bulk release Pokemon. That's super useful in, in this game, because I can't keep all these. <laughs> Look at all these. I can't keep every single one of the Pokemon that I catch in this game for the dex entries. It's gonna- it's, it, it's just way too cluttered. So I'm glad I'm able to bulk release them. Oh, there's one. Yeah. Ah, there's one, finally. Ah, there's the last one. Okay, finally. After this, I think we're gonna be done with, done with side quests for now. Cause we gotta deal with this cleavor, and I've already been recording for an hour. Doof! Just what I wanted to hear. Well, I think we're about ready to go. And to be honest, after all this side questing, I think it's been enough time. Let's just evolve Starlight. Starlight is ready to evolve. Actually, let's see you as a Pichu one last time. Are you still asleep? 
You indeed are still asleep. Well, when you wake up, you will be a Pikachu. One day you're a Pikachu, and the next, you wake up and you fall. So here we go. Pichu is now... A Pikachu. It's so weird to hear the old sound effect for Pikachu. It's using the old cry from the DS games. You're going to be much more effective on the party now. Starlight. <laughs> and he's wide awake now. Amazing. How's this for a thumbnail? So I can turn that off and take a nice screenshot here. That's a perfect thumbnail. Okay, well now it's back out into the field lands we go. It would be rude to split this up into another episode, wouldn't it? It's time to fly! Oh, that's terrible. That's terrible. Oh, did I die? Did I actually faint from that? I did! Oh, what? I lost all of that? <laughs> I'm sure I have to do stuff like that to grind my MP. Well, I had to know the limit, right? Oh, the lost and found is here. Oh. Mine. Oh. I'm sure I'll get them back eventually. And then I'll get merit points for it. Also, that is a uh, Munchlax. What missions do I got here? Okay, one of them is catching it without being spotted. Here we go. Gonna throw a heavy ball at that one. And a heavy ball at this one. There we go. Expertly done. Two with one orange berry toss. That couldn't have gone better. This is gonna be fun. We're entering new territory at last. Ooh, a Baneary. That's a good first target. Iron Bark Tongue. That's a new item. How do I not have space in the satchel for honey? Am I out of space already? How? Where did I even get this Firestone from? Alright, we've made it to the site where we're gonna fight Cleavor. My team should be good enough, hopefully. I'm Leon of the Pearl Clan, the Warden to Cleavor, Lord of the Woods. And you, I've already deduced that, you're, that you've come here to meet Cleavor. I'm right, aren't I? Of course I am. I can see it so clearly. After all, the powerfully awesome Cleavor has become even more awesomely powerful. Perhaps that strange lightning the other day was Almighty Sinnoh's divine power. But whatever it was, it struck my lord and left him imbued with awesome might. So I must turn you away, even if it pains me. It's too dangerous for you to meet Cleavor right now. I'll do anything. Oh, such earnest desire to meet mighty Cleavor. I have to admit, I'm struck by your passion. But well, I'm afraid your passion is not the real issue here. I've been told in no uncertain terms by a reader that I am to let no one near Cleavor. I will fight you off myself if you insist. If you wish to avoid battle, withdraw now, while you still can, or face the wrath of my Gumi. <laughs> I'll take you on. You don't even realize I'm turning you away for your own safety. How sad you are. Go, Gumi, and see if you can ooze some good sense over this foolish troublemaker. It's gonna be Hisui and Gumi, isn't it? What is this battle theme? It sounds like it's Luigi's Mansion music. Here we go. This is like the gym leader battle theme, isn't it? This is like the Diamond and Pearl gym leader theme. Agile really doesn't seem to like giving you extra, extra turns in this game. It feels like every time I check, it never gives me another turn. Maybe I just have to be much higher level for that to matter. Wah! Insta kill. Get out of here, Gumi. You're worthless. How can this be? I may have been defeated, but my point still stands. It's too dangerous to meet Cleavor now. The only welcome you'll get if you approach him is a flurry of devastating blows. 
Pearl Clan leader is here. As you say, Cleefor has grown stronger, but I'm afraid that strength poses a problem for us. Oh. You, stranger from beyond the sky, tell me, could you galaxy people actually fix all this? I'll figure something out. And by that I mean I'll defeat it. Leon and I will gather foods that please Cleavor. Find as for you, find a way to quell his frenzy, even if you must search every corner of vast Hisui. Mysterious power now enables you to return to base camps in an instant. Press the X button to instantly travel to base camps and other locations. I guess we're not gonna fight Cleavor right now. That sucks. Oh, the Pokeshi dolls aren't for running away. They're for being sold. So I can sell this for a bunch of money? Okay. Well, then I guess I'll try to gather more wood and make more of them. I need to mold this over back at the laboratory. So I gotta go back to the laboratory? Oh man, I barely got to do anything. We're gonna end up having to throw those, uh... Th throw those items at it, right? From the trailers? That's what we're building up to here, isn't it? Eureka! We'll simply have to throw the food. <laughs> You've quite the arm for throwing things, haven't you, ZJ? Might I suggest you take Cleavor's favorite foods and throw them at the Pokémon? Makes sense. Sure. Oh yeah, it's all coming together. We can use our skill in Pokéball crafting to shape Cleavor's beloved foods into balls and then throw them to achieve the same effect, but from afar. A brilliant idea, if I do say so myself. As for what to call these yummy projectiles, how about tea time balls? <laughs> sure. <laughs> now I gotta go back to the Granger Arena. But I gotta do it from all the way back here? Oh, that's tedious. Oh, this is where I finally get to start riding Weird Ear, isn't it? Weir! I spoke to Weird Ear about what's been going on. I told him how you've been trekking all over the field lands, seeking a way to quell Gleevor's frenzy. All this from someone who's not even part of our clan or the Pearl Clan. Just some wanderer. And hearing that, you can see how well he responded. I trust you appreciate it. Weird Ears found you worthy, you see. Which means you'll need a flute like we have. Mind demonstrating? That's a Celestica flute that Mai just played. It's a precious tool that can be used to call upon Weird Ear so you can ride him. It's said that the Celestica flutes were gift from Sinnoh itself, and now this one's yours. Yay! A flute that can be used to call special Pokémon that are willing to, wear to bear you around the region. You received the mind plate. <laughs> okay, thanks. A mind plate. That's weird that I would get it from there. A Scyther. Does that Scyther look different to you? Why does that look like a shiny Scyther? Hello. Uh, Ultra Ball, go. Yeah. Backstrike with that. Catch it, catch it, catch it. It's an Ultra Ball. Look at that Scyther. Was that a shiny Scyther? I don't even know. Normally Scyther is like a lot lighter colored, isn't it? And the shiny one is like a dark green? Oh, never mind. Okay, I don't think it was shiny considering this one also looks the same shading. Thundershot. Yeah. Just an insta-KO? Normal Thundershot? Okay, it was a critical hit. That's fair enough. For now, that'll be about it for this episode of Pokemon Legends Arceus. Please like the video, if you liked the video of course, and subscribe maybe if you want to see more just like this one. <laughs> and I will see you all on the next episode of Pokemon Legends Arceus. Adventure on! Did you see that?
I guess I can't send out Pikachu. He's just too dazed. And apparently I'm happy about it. Anyway, see you next time.